have been doing a little bit more looking into uh, this picture here or that uh, Brent Kopaka eye and what relevance it has in the case. I know a lot of people for about eight, eight months, nine months have been trying to figure out what's in it. I don't think anybody has come close to finding what what I see. And um, if you missed part one, I'll go over it real quick. And I think you'll be able to see exactly uh, where I'm coming from on this. And I feel it's important and relevant. And Mr. Kopaka, thank you. Rest in peace. Um, thank you for your service. And we're only asking questions. I'm not trying to slander everybody. This is speculation and opinion. And it's for entertainment versus only. Um, I do want to say that it it is strange that it was posted just a few days before his passing, which was under say, strange circumstances, to say the least, right? All right, so we have the original picture. I flipped it upside down. All right, and then we're going to zoom in. And um, hopefully you can see that there. Okay. So... In the first video, um, hopefully this will get to us somebody with a lot of subs, so a lot of people could see this. Um, I feel like it might lead somewhere, um, and it's pretty important to the case. So in the first one, I was explaining that a bitmap is a picture taken in the real world, the outside world, with a digital camera or 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 a scanned on a, on a scanner and put into the computer from the outside world. That's a bitmap image, okay? Bitmap. And so we're going to zoom in closer, and you'll see now clearly on this picture especially, uh, as we get in, that on the edges of his eye here, uh, if you can see that, if you can, um, You'll see the pixelation has a has a certain light pattern, sort of bent, blends in, and um, it's very distinctly different than this area here. Okay, so what I would say is now we have a bitmap. And add it on in Photoshop or, or something like this, uh, a drawn on image uh, that is relative uh, to the inside of the eye. If you can see that right here, I think you can. Okay, so you have the small pixels. You can see it clearly. Uh, if we go back over here, all right, and then we flip over to here, and I think you clearly see the larger pixelization of the vector which is a drawn-on crayon uh, uh, part of the image, okay? So I, I think we have three elements in this photograph here. So the first one is going to be, and um, I'm going to clear it up a little bit just so maybe you're not able to see it uh, better. And so this, um, let me see if I, I guess it won't matter if I zoom out. There you go. Uh, wait a second. Um, I'm going to use what's called the, the, uh, the burn tool or dodge. Dodge. And what that does is it's going to um, up the exposure without brightening it. Okay. And so. Right now I have selected dodge and we're gonna burn it on. Okay, ready? So as I go over the image, and I just wanna concentrate on this little part right there. And hopefully you can see, it looks like a buddy photo type of thing. Um, a guy here with his face. Um, and you can see another face here with a white hat. And then it appears Everybody thought this was, oh, maybe it's the house over here. I think it's it's either taken by a pool or the seaside, which would coincide with this title of the picture, okay? So um, I think it, it grows clear of an image. So what I think it is, is that his phone was upside down, 
with the image on displayed on the phone and some style simultaneously took the picture or had a picture that he was holding that it was upside down. Okay, that's why it's confusing. That's why I had everybody fooled and nobody could figure out. It looked weird, but we couldn't figure out. Okay. And so that's kind of the the easy part of the image to to accept. Okay, I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the dodge off. All right. And hopefully you can still see what I'm talking about. There's the two guys. And now I noticed one thing about this dude here. I want to say, I wanted to say in the beginning that he was f sort of facing the camera like and I'm dodging. Oops. Let me, um, facing the camera as if he was caught off guard. Like surprise, because you see his full face, and then you see this this guy here, kind of leaning into him. But I noticed that okay, so like I said, this is his shirt here, and then let's bring it down a little bit just more so you can see. Okay, and I'm gonna zoom it out just one more time just so you can get a good clear image. I feel like once you see it, you really you can't unsee it, right? You know what I mean? Um. So, um, so you can see that it, it looks okay. So now this fits our pixelization, and it, I feel I feel that it is absolutely part of the original image of the face. It fits into the face, the eye, the eye uh, over here. It's not heavily pixelated. Like this vector area right here. Okay, so this was this definitely right here. Part of the original image in my All right. But what I noticed at in the beginning was the arm of this this individual here. Okay. So you have an arm and is it is it one guy with his arm around the buddy and the other guy's like, Hey, you know, one of these guys, this guy, you know, one of those. But then I noticed this his head tilt is extreme. It's like e either he's really tall, a lot taller than this guy, and this guy it appears like it's a tall guy. And, um, if you're with me in the original one, I'll go over it in a second. Well, I, I believe that this says the vector part where I'm talking about this white part. It says I and A and and I'll go over that. But anyway, um, then I said. It's um, when I was doing a live the other day, I was talking to uh, at Fat Heather Fitzgerald, and I noticed that it was like one of my pictures where the guy is holding a knife to the gentleman's throat. Okay, so as I looked at it, I noticed it's an un unnatural lean, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna. Uh, I'm going to skew the image and I'm taking you along with the whole way so you don't think I I doctored it and changed it in any way. Um, and so I, that's a 15 degree turn. Okay? So now we have this 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 gentleman seems almost like he's on a level plane. Maybe a little lean this way. Are you with me? Yeah. Okay. Alright, and then this one the head is really tilted. Is it, is it limp? Is he laying down? Uh, it, it's okay. So I, I would love to have some type of history of, uh, of Mr. Kropaka's, uh, uh, you know, like his, his Facebook pictures. I feel like it's probably something that's very readily out there normally now. Now I guess everything's been squashed and it's harder to get, but, uh, um, it, it does seem almost like maybe this is like limp, and 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 th this face here is not facing us. His eye is one eye. 
Okay, you see that one? If you look close, I don't know what kind of good your TV is. Uh, but if you see, there's one little dot right under the hat, a little brown dot. And it feels like he's facing, which is not a normal, if it's an arm. And I feel, you know, I, there could be the second eye right here. But I, I, if you if if you let yourself look long enough, you can almost see that it's like he's looking this way. You know, it could go either way because it's it appears like there's a line here, the mouth, a nose, two eyes, and a hat. Okay? Could be a buddy picture. This could be somebody in the act of something. I don't know. I want to put that out there. Okay, so let's review on the vector part of the image here real quick. So everybody has that and and we you know what I'm talking about. All right. So this originally when you uh when you flip the image. This is what you would say. Uh, this is the normal, how it was. I've got it skewed 15 degrees right now. And we can put that back and fit it down clockwise, clockwise. That's, oops, went the wrong. Um, sorry. So, let it go one more time. And the 15 degree takes an extra second. Sorry. Um, go down there we go. Okay, so now we're back. You see the original image, yes. And so, computer, your phone. Um, we're back to the upside down, and it does look to me, uh, right here, like a house. Okay, so the image is upside down. You can still see it though. And you see the heads and the two heads and the body and the body. Okay? Leave it right there. Now, this does look like it could be the, what was it? Uh, one speculated that it was from um, a Google map image or something of this sort. And I, 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 I suggested in the previous video that this was an eye. And I said that earlier here. And I, I give him credit. <laughs> If he did, um, because this does appear to be a part of the bitmap image. Remember, a bitmap is from the outside world, a picture taken through your phone, something like this. Now we get to a vector area, boom, right here. Um, and so we have it upside down. And I, I originally thought I'd say something I love. And then um, Heather... Or I'm sorry, uh, Jennifer actually su suggested maybe it's some Greek letters if you look into it more. And in some of my pictures, I'll draw something and then I'll flip the paper upside down and draw it so that it's something both ways. So you can flip it around and see two different pictures. Okay, so I, I wonder if he took a crayon, uh, allegedly, and drew these and did them in a way so that it spells one thing one way and one thing the other. Because you can clearly still see the I, or it could be an H, uh, it could be an F, um, a lot of things this way. But yeah, I, A, and it looks like a 6 or a G, or, you know, use your imagination, a 5, I, A, 5, U, F, U, um, something along this. So. But uh, we also have another area here and here that I'm going to get into in a minute. But we're still, I want to focus on this real quick and just show you. Okay, I'm going to zoom in and then we're going to flip it. All right. And here it goes. Okay, so we're back to what we were before. And I'm going to make it so you can see. There it is. And because it looks clearly like an E. But I, I, I once I, now I'm going to dodge this, okay? And all it is doing is 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 bringing up the image. It's it's not altering in any way. It's just bringing up the exposure, okay? So we can see it clear. All right. So as I go over, I think you can clearly see what I'm talking about. Okay. So you have the eye. You see that? Let me go in one more shot for you. And 
I believe that's an eye. And this, this I feel could be part of this part of the bitmap because it does definitely fit in with the pixelization. And we get over to here and there. This, oh, my bad. This part, you see the pixelization is different underneath this guy with the jacket and this and that. And actually, in his jacket, you do see some light spraying a, 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 a vector on top of the image. Um, would be the bitmap. And then it's like he drew in the crayon here, I, and then it leads to an N. And then I was like, where does that go from there? And then it's A. Okay, let me dodge it one second. Just right, right here. And then the N connects to an A, goes across, and then right here, you have that. Definite. Okay, so I N A N. And Ian, I'm sorry, you're, you're, if you, you hadn't thrown so many lies out there, I wouldn't even, I thought you were as gentle as a, as a, as a shoe fly, but apparently, um, <laughs> you're not okay so i don't have a problem I, I i didn't want to see it i wanted to see i love you know i love turtles or something but that's not the case dude so this guy's got a message for us and i want to find it and i believe i have all right so the next thing we have is clearly vector bitnap and if you're with you still you can see that picture Without a doubt, okay. Um, I don't. I I, can't, I don't know if I can make it any more clear. White shirt, two faces, white hat, brown hat, brown jacket. Without a question. Uh, um, put everything on that. Now zoom it in, and it gets a little more pixelated, but it still kind of holds together, as opposed to your vector areas. So you definitely have a vector area if you can see that. I'm gonna bring that up into the. Uh, into the view for you and vector what's your vector vector and you're gonna have vector and so there was a, spec a lot of speculation this this is a reflection of a phone i originally thought it was a door did like the open door i went one two two um but i changed my mind okay um because this is where my trigger warning comes in, and when I I, I kind of got I kind of got sick when I really saw it today, and I'm um, I'm warning you now that it's it's just it's kind of it's 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 gross. It's 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 horrifying. It's it's weird in a way to find this in the image, um, and I feel like it was part of the image and it was also doctored a little bit okay so i don't know if you see it already you're gonna i'm gonna flip it just a little bit more for you not changing the picture at all <laughs> all right it's a real ghost no just kidding. all right and this was built on a graveyard and it's pretty it's pretty disturbing part right here and if it's what I think it is, um, it's it's not a pleasing thing to look at. So I'm sorry, sorry if you have to go to work after this and whatever, or going to bed. And I'm showing you this right now, but uh, it must be seen. And we'll, we'll figure it out from here. Well, because what's what's going to happen is these images are going to match up with something that's out there, and I want more people to see it so they can make that connection. All right. And that's not a problem. This to contribute to the whole case altogether, and there's no any drama. Take credit for it. I don't care. Um, I know somebody on Twitter did did some looking into this. I don't know what he came up with. This is what I saw. All right. And so now we're going to take the dodge tool again, and I'm going to go over. And I'm I don't know if you see already. But we have sort of, and at first I thought it was one of those, uh, oh, that type of thing. Um, and then I looked at it today and I, I unobjectively, 
and it, I just saw that it kind of looked like a ghastly skull, like a. I, you can, I think you can see the two eyes here in the mouth, and it's kind of a skullish. It almost looks like a, like a dead bride. Okay, and I don't this this two or five or S. I can't tell you what how it fits in, but as I look at this angle, I do see that more clearly of an A, and it's almost repeated back there. And there's an image of the 1122 house where the back porch has those posts, posts and they match up with this angle. So it's, it's very, this is a very um, many-layered picture. And the image, of course, got flattened when it got posted. So the layers are uh, if there's some, if there's some way, like if the Scott guy from Photoshop is watching this, or Reagan Brown, or one of you guys can break up the layers again and help us, that would be absolutely fantastic. Um, but yeah, that's without a doubt a vector. Of, so it's added and after. That's added and after. This looks like it's got the opacity drop, so it's clear, but it's drawn over. Okay, it's drawn over the original. So this would be the map. This would be the vector. This would be vector for sure. And this looks like it's part of the original bitmap. Uh, except for this part right here was drawn in maybe as an accent, this type of thing. Okay, and so you see the skull bright. That's what I call it. I can't. I'm going to. Oops. Yeah. All right, so that's the burn. This is the dodge. Okay. As, we, as we get to it and get after it. Oops, went too far. So we go back to him. Oh, uh, that's good. Can you see now? Yeah, good. All right, so I hit control, and you see sort of looking this way, and a mouth, and looks like <laughs> a powdered wig from uh, whatever. Okay, but. What happens when I hit control and I run that dodge? What we start to see is a nose, a mouth, an eye facing this one. Well, if you follow me, okay? I'm going to do the last one. One less. Okay. I just, it's very hard to unsee this looking at you thing. But as, as you go further, now we were told that this crime scene was absolutely horribly messy. Um, and that's what this picture is. Okay. What I'd like to too tight. Uh, I burned it. I'll bring, it, bring it back one more. Oh, my. Okay, wait, that's not bad. Yeah, uh, see, it sort of takes it out. Okay, and I'm going to zoom it out now. Really go too far. And what I start to see, what we like, it's part of the picture. And um, to me, it looks like faces with horrified expressions. Okay, you follow? Uh, and, you know, given the fact that it's facing the same directions as these two fellas right here. So it could be two images held up as pictures, you know, like paper pictures like we used to have uh, together. Or something merged if he, there were, if it's sort of a reflection on a phone, which would make more sense because to get something to reflect like this, you'd have to have a very bright light or be outside. Uh, in sunlight, 
Okay. Um, and so I want to suggest that remember this face is facing that way. This way together passed away. Okay. And as I I looked at it even more, and I didn't want to. I had to take a break because it kind of sickened me. The whole thing um, is I noticed. I don't know if it's that it's blended in with the eye, but around here it did appear red. Okay, and it's almost like the mouth is bigger than it would normally be. Okay. And then you have this arm on touched area in the face. Okay. And that's, I, hopefully you can see it as clearly as I do. If you got your retina display, I think you'll, you'll be right there with me. And then you have the two here, either standing by something, because this is all bitmap right here. And then you got your vector right over it. So there's all, actually now I see, Okay, so starting around, can't, oh, wait, can't follow me, sorry. Uh, oops. Two, one more. Going around, you have a vector error. So I want to point that out in case there's somebody that sees something I don't yet. Um, I, 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 I would love to do a, a part of three of this if I come up with anything. I'm sure eventually I'm going to get to it. Um, I've dodged this already. Right here. That area. And I'll put it back into more review. And we can flip it and twist it all day. And it, it just seems to jumble up more. The only thing I can make out that really makes any sense in is, is what I suggested earlier. Okay. Um, let's take you through the various possibilities. Just not everybody has a fair shot of helping out with this. I feel, you know, somehow, why were the Idaho police in Washington? Why the Chief Fry was there before the SWAT team? Is that right? I believe. Um, there was a search warrant that nobody can explain that a lot of things that just make this whole thing suspicious. And like I said, I don't want to tarnish anybody's name and I know he was going through a lot and I, I want to make that clear. Okay. But I also want answers. It's because there's some weird things happening here. Weird. And this needs to be answered. I feel I've got, I've gotten at least, Half of the message out. All right. Um, and I just want, that's why I'm flipping through here. And, and that, that one part turns my stomach, that skull thing. It, if it's what I think it is, as if, you know, the Linda, the Linda Lane uh, conversation that you hear when it's filtered out. And listen, <laughs> a lot of people are like, oh, well, it was manipulated by a computer. Well, you know what it did is, it's a noise suppressor. Okay, if you have good speakers right now, listen to this. All right, I'm going to take a noise suppressor. And I'm going to put it on my mouth because right now I got the fan going. Um, there's that's without the noise suppressor. Okay, I might sound louder. Or whatever. I got a compressor on there. So that's even louder, you know. Now you put the compressor, you hear the fan. A noise suppressor removes the noise. It's a computer algorithm that's dedicated to removing noise. So you can believe that Linda Lane audio, trust me, is awful. And it's real. Okay? That was done by some professional audio guys that I... I can tell you it's beyond my level of uh, my beyond my pig grade. All right. So here's the here's the noise suppressor back on. Okay. And it's still me, just right here. This only thing, noise suppressor gone. Noise suppressor on. All right. I wanted to make that point. 
Okay, I'm gonna close that up. Uh, all right, so we'll we'll flip, keep flipping this around, and like I said, this is all speculation for entertainment purposes only. And I want to make sure we get all angles, so I'm gonna flip it horizontally again. See if you see anything there, and then I'm gonna wrap this up, guys. I, I will say. <laughs> <laughs> I like to play it for a second. If nobody caught Nancy Grace's live or Nancy Disgrace's uh, show, whatever it was, <laughs> she had, I think it was something on P. Diddy Combs, and she had one of the same guys that the doctor she had on from last, from Lena's broadcast. And. I guess he must have taken a lot of bathroom with Bluetooth headphones on because in this one he's in he's in his office and you can see his giant diplomas behind which I guess qualifies him even though she gave him like two seconds to respond. And I also like to say Um that raid really shows you how the militarization of law enforcement has gone ridiculous in this country. Um, it's funny that law enforcement just has no important uh, agenda to, to to preserve our rights whatsoever. If they feel like somebody's doing something wrong, and you know, me, he may be doing something wrong, and there's a lot of there's a lot of lawsuits and and whatever, man. But I just thought it was funny that it's when you mix military and intelligence. You get what you had today or yesterday or whatever. Uh, with the the cops raiding uh P. Diddy's LA mansion. <laughs> they were they were busting out their ladders, they were all dressed to the Hilton Kevlar, and they're bust and they're and they're at their front gate and they're like trying to get in that front gate and like for five minutes. It's hilarious. They, I'm like they're I'm like, oh they finally got in. Somebody must have buzzed them in. <laughs> No, they were trying to push, and all they had to do was pull. You can't write this shit, folks. All right, here we go. So one more flip here, and it'll be done. Um, I, I, I hope you saw what I saw there, and I, I please get this to, especially like Doc Drifty or somebody like that that can get it in front of a lot of people, uh, and just have them take a look at it uh, and see what they think because. Uh, is that where is that something go clockwise again kind of clockwise i'm sorry is that this x can you see that let me pull it up i'm sorry where'd it go is it in there it's in there one more little clip yeah i'm not changing the picture at all maybe anything it's not and we're kind of clockwise there we are okay so we still have this S, and it's, yeah, I could do one more. Why not? Transform it, bing bong, bing bong. Ching, ching, chong, chong, chong. And boom. Oh, look at that, dude. Yeah. Uh, is, oh, look at that. Sometimes this program might have Okay, we're still really. <laughs> huh? Hey, I see you. Okay, so you can see. Oh, if I have in frame. Uh, that S. And let's get one more zoom on it. One more. And one more. S. Or it's Dawson's Creek or Five Alive or anything like that. And then the only thing I can make up or make out is the S, L, and then you sort of have an E-ish, which I was like, okay, is, it, is that an I? Is it an A? Is it an E? S, C, or L? So S, L, E, I. And then I definitely see a T-ish here. Um, let's see, you have this. That seems to fit into the bitmap. I So it makes it more difficult for me. Now we'll just try one more thing. Uh, 
if you flip it the other way we still okay you'll see we have so if I can do one more out where'd it go okay here it is is that better okay good one more just so we can zoom up there you go and so now this would be a backward yes so okay so let's do that now we're going to flip it horizontally probably wag that in. so we're back to where we were as now I gotta go it, it got all it gets all crazy when we go now you got it too okay so going this way maybe you have something here I don't know if that's part of it but like I said you got to follow the money and so you have the two is money for sure right guys and then you can see how the vector is different than the bitmap. We learned something today, right? Okay, so, and then what do we have here? An H, something, like I said, this here, look at the size of that pixel, look at that size of that pixel. Are you following me? Also, the, the opacity. When you When you draw over something, you draw over it. Okay, you can change the opacity to see through, but typically look how much darker of that color it is, opposed to this has a blend of colors, which would be more natural for a bitmap image. Okay, so let's continue. Let's see what we All right, so that all the money we got S, we had L maybe or H. Two, I'm sorry, two or a backward five. Right, so I would, I just wanted to point that out. I'm going to look at it more, but uh, H, C, O, I, uh, Sigma Chi, I don't see. I'm sorry, Jennifer, I, I don't see. Uh, what's the lambda, 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 or Sigma Mu? Try the tri moves, tri lambs, birds. I don't see any of that. So, just to give you a full image of everything that I saw in in all its glory here, so everybody gets a chance. And I swear, if you see something, please just just you know say something. Just keep my name out of your mouth. No, don't, don't tell everybody about me. Uh, let's see here. That's what AR should have said today. It's here he goes. Um, keep my name out of your dirty mouth. <laughs> I love AR. Okay, guys. And um, what do you got? This possible six. Okay, just remember. When you see that white standing out like that, it's not the KKK, it's it's vector. Okay? Very vectorish. And look right here. This is I tell you, it's a it's 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 a um what do they call it? The cryptogram or or anagram or, or something along those lines where um it's um we'll figure it out. And let's go a more horizontal flip just for shits and giggles. Right. And pop up. All right, so that's about all I got for today. And if you were in the chat, nope, nobody. Oh, hey. Hi, Thelma. Thanks for stopping by. Velma is from South Africa. 
and she's going to house me when I go to surf J Bay um, next year. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> Are you the undertaker from WWE? No. Um, Nick Foley. I, I've been looking for a uh, one of those action figures, Nick Foley. Um, I won't tell you what a lot of people call him. <laughs> so this uh, affiliation. I'll go with Kane Brown before I go with uh, Nick Foley. <laughs> but he's a big bad dude, as for sure. Uh, yeah, thank you for coming in. Did you did you enjoy some lightning? I I, I changed the thumbnail. It's basically the same uh, sleep thunderstorms. If you if you take a look. She will have a <laughs> good as long as you got I'm a body border, so it doesn't take up much space. It's got a little bag and a couple boards of fins. And I'll have a blast. Hopefully I don't meet the man in the gray suit over there. There are a lot of great whites in South Africa. But yeah, uh, we actually have a lot of viewers from India. Thirty I I know it's about thirty viewers in India, uh the UK, um and uh <laughs> uh, uh, um, where else was it? oh South Korea and we were talking about that last time so yeah did you, did you get a good sleep with the lightning or were you frustrated by the change of the image I know I get that way too I'm like oh if I'm not on the ship and here in the waves I'm not I'm not I'm not sleeping good but uh, yeah I was saying last time that that grizzly uh, picked me up in in Delphi, brought me over to Idaho, and then left me behind. <laughs> so grizzly is, is uh, South African living in Holland, and so I tried uh, speaking with her in Dutch. Oh, that's great! That's great! That's I'm noticing the numbers are going up. I'm getting there. I, I got to get the subscribers. <laughs> Uh, we get to 100 of uh, Paws on the Ground, where AR takes over the world. and I feel like I'm the Simpsons sometimes. I, I named it The Purge, and I wanted to have Chaos Theory and get a clue, kind of work things out. And then all of a sudden, the whole world broke out into fighting. And uh, anyway, um, I, I, uh, I forgot to go with it. <laughs> well, thank you for coming in. I, I have one fan. I guess Heather Fitzgerald and uh, Twizzle Sticks are sleeping. I appreciate you guys stopping in. I hope that we can get a lot further with this message here. And like, this is the original thing you'll see on uh, what the image is there on Reddit. And interact with that real quick uh you can't i can't for some reason once you get to one point here you can't go anywhere else but um he says break my paca posted a profile picture that was i see you too and it's s-e-a-c and uh within the eye picture are several images and so i guess if it's been interpreted every different way and a lot of people felt they saw one one two two which I did originally too. I can make out a few things and a few of the images are women in bathing suits that I never saw that. A boy or a male in the center of the pupil, which is like the one I said and I feel like it's holding up a knife. And then why put work into this picture and post a few days before he was unalived? How could they immediately know he had nothing to do with the murders? And why was chief of MPD on the site at the time of the shooting? Maybe Brian is not the killer or a piggyback thing or a partnership thing. Um, uh, in, 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 um, that was where... I originally got the picture. This is, uh, you know, 
you, if you wanted to dig the rabbit hole, do some research uh, to, I thank you very much. Thank you. I, 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 I feel proud. That I felt like I was going to contribute to this case sooner or later. And just one day this popped out at me. And as much as I'm invested in this case and I've given up my own life for it, uh, literally, um, I, all that matters is that we figure out the truth, you know? And I feel everybody feels that way. And I, I don't understand the attacks on each other lately. And I hope it stops. But I've, I've, I'm proud of the people that I consider my friends, the way they've handled it in a mature manner. And actually more mature than I think I may or may not have. Um, and that's great. You know, so that's where we have to go. Because we're not here to fight with each other. And... Anything um, beyond that is just a waste of time. You know, I mean, we're here to do one thing. And you go to a baseball game and you don't start kicking a soccer around the infield, you know, soccer ball. So, all right. Thank you again for tuning in. And 